hello everyone once again welcome you all to uh, know about no more interesting facts about shakespeare in this video i am going to give a nutshell about the play tempest and we all know that uh, it has been considered the last play of william shakespeare it is a comedy in five acts and when it was written so it was written in the year 1610 to 1611 Published in the first folio of 1623, we all know that all the Shakespeare plays are compiled in the first folio and it was published in 1623. That was the evidence we come to know that William Shakespeare uh, wrote 37 plays. The setting, the setting of the play Tempest is a remote island where Prospero lives with his daughter. Prospero is such an interesting character and he has some magical power. What made him to reach this island and what he was doing, whether he wanted to take revenge on his enemies, all those things are discussed wonderfully in this play. So this island, actually he had uh, reached this island after, uh, uh, I mean uh, before 12 years. So this island was inhabited by spirits and uh, one of the important character in this play, Tempest, is Ariel. It is a spirit and it is a very very obedient servant of, servant of Prospero. For example, if you take a Midsummer Night Dream, we all know the famous character Pug. How it, obey, uh, how it obeys Oberon. So likewise, this character Ariel, it was a, you know, uh, very obedient servant to Prospero. And in the next slide, we can, I, I have shown uh, the character map that is Miranda, Prospero's daughter. And she doesn't know why Prospero is taking revenge on his enemy. Once she comes to know the past and she understands, but she falls in love with Ferdinand. And Antonio, who was uncle of Miranda and who was um, the brother of Prospero, once Prospero hand over the administration duty to Antonio, he cheated his own brother because of the reputation. And the next character is Ariel, so it serves Prospero. And Caliban, I already told you that the island was inhabited by some spirits. The Caliban, it is an ugly fellow and he was the son of Cyclops. Once uh, he reached island, um, uh, you know, he took over that island and he released Ariel from the Cyclops Psycho magical spell. That is what Ariel was obedient servant to Prospero. And we have a, a very, very famous character, Trinculo, Jester and Stefno. Then uh, in this side, uh, we come to know that Ferdinand, King Alonso and Sebastio. So Ferdinand, he is the hero and who is the lover of Miranda. At last they got married. And King Alonso, the father of Ferdinand and Sebastian is brother. And uh, the picture uh, here you are seeing is the play opening. So when the play opens, that King Alonso, you know, Gonzalo and Ferdinand and some of the noblemen, they are traveling in the ship because they are returning uh, from, um, you know, Alonso's uh, daughter uh, uh, country. When they are returning, that uh, the storm and thunder was created by Ariel. So it was the shipwreck. So the small picture... Uh, at the top of the ship uh, you can see is that is Ariel. That Ariel only because with the with the concurrence of Prospero, Ariel created that thunder and storm in the middle of the sea and how the ship got stuck in the middle of the sea. So it is opens in the midst of a fierce storm. The location is a ship at sea with a royal party on board. It was created by Ariel. And next slide, when the shipwreck was happening in the middle of the sea and Miranda, who is an innocent girl and very beautiful girl, she is watching that and she is praying that and she is do she knows that uh, Prospero only created all those things. So he begs his father, uh, sorry, he begs her father not to do any harm to the, uh, you know, people that fellows in the ship and Prospero ensures he will not do any harm. So why, once Miranda is asking why, why further, why are you doing all those things? So Prospero, uh, you know, he is supposed to narrate this flashback, what happened to them and why they have reached the island, all those things. So Prospero tells the flashback to Miranda and he ensures all will be safe in shipwreck and no harm. And in the next slide, how Prospero is using his magical power to control all the characters. So the Tempest, at last, so in the in the middle in the middle of the play, Prospero watches Ferdinand and Miranda behavior in the island, and uh, he invo and uh, uh, he insists Ariel to bring all the characters before him. He makes everyone to realize his mistake. At last, he forgave everybody. 
at the end of the play so the tempest ends with the prosperous power being restored his enemies being forgiven ferdinand and miranda plan to be get married at the soliloquy at the end of the play we have prospero soliloquy at the end of the play he mentions that he will now give up his all his magical power and he is going to bury his magical you know power and books all those things into sea that is the end of the play thank you so much this is the nutsel of the play the tempest